Hey, what's up, YouTube, Facebook, MySpace, or any other uh, social type of network? This is Danny J. This is my second personal video right here on YouTube.com slash Power Hour TV. Now, as many of, as many of you guys already know, you know, Kanye West basically insulted Taylor Swift on VMAs or on a typical September 19th, and I don't mean insulted as in physically like, touched her, but he insulted her mentally, abused her. I guess if you want to call it that. And basically, what uh, I'm just gonna give my opinion on it. Like, how in the world Kanye West being obviously like I, I enjoy Kanye West music, and although I'm not in love with his 808 album, most recent album. You know, it's not too bad, you know, with all the tune and all that good stuff. But I just want to know, like, how could he do what he do? Like, how, how could he done it? That, that's crazy. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, well, it's no big deal. They forgive him. You know, it's not a big deal. It happens. You know, Jay Leno on the Jay Leno show a few days ago, earlier this week. He went on there, I believe it was Monday, and a lot of people forgave him and say, you know, it happens, whatever. And on the Wendy Williams show, I believe it was a couple of days ago, on a Wednesday, on Thursday, they were saying, oh, well, I forg they forgave Kanye West. But at the same time, like, what the hell? Kanye West is well established artist. You can't say, oh, well, I didn't mean to. It was an emotional, I was emotional distraught at the time. I know it was rude, and I didn't think what well, I was thinking about. It. I just did it. Like that's that's crazy, man. Like I think what Kanye needs to do not necessarily just take time, not just take time off, but at the same time, like literally, like just just stop, like stop altogether. Don't be in limelight. And on top of that, like how's Jay Z? Uh, I just want to touch this. Like okay. Fiance is Jay Z's fiance or wife or whatever, right? And at the VMAs, for those guys who don't know, during the VMAs, Jay Z like left Beyonce. Okay, this is Beyonce, this is not some typical average girl. This is Beyonce. Jay Z left Beyonce at the VMAs and went out with Rihanna because he was pissed that he didn't like the fact that she supported Taylor Swift and gave Taylor Swift its innovation. And didn't agree with Kanye West. I guess he felt that he betrayed the camp or whatever like that. And it's, it's crazy. I, I really don't think like right now Kanye West, Jay Z, out all people should know better. And him doing what he did, leaving Beyonce out of spite because Kanye West assaulted Taylor Swift, and Beyonce was for Taylor Swift and Kanye West. That just shows how. And significant Jay Z is. Again, I'm a fan of Jay Z, I'm a big fan of Jay Z's, but that just shows how stupid you are, Jay Z, or Sean Carter, like seriously. So, that that that, that whole cocky attitude, that, I know you, you're top of the game, you know, like your fiance, but that needs to stop, okay? You need to take your artist, take West, take Kanye West, sit him down, and, you know, beat him up a few times emotionally. So, uh, that's all I gotta say about that. It, it's just crazy. So, and he apologized. This is the second time he apologized when people, he did, the first time he did something like this at VMAs, I believe it was last year around the same time, last year in VMAs, when he said, oh, well, I deserve the award. How dare you guys not make happy win an award? It's crazy. Kanye West at this point is an outburst. And for people to get on Obama, Barack Obama, was saying what he said about Kanye West, was uh, saying how Kanye West was a jackass. He was right about that. And that comment was off the record. The people, his people, one of his people, put that on their Twitter and put that remark on the Twitter from Barack Obama. And knowing that, knowing the fact that people probably picked it up, the minute said Barack Obama president said this, you know what I mean? They were common sense were told, like, wait a minute. I don't want to put that on it because it was off the record. Because I me, mean, if I put it on the record, if I put that on my Twitter or MySpace, we just gonna pick it up, which they picked up very quickly. And now it's a big controversy saying 
Well, the president should have said what he said. He should be the president. He's a person. And people, seriously, okay, you have Bush. He sucked, okay? And you have Obama now. Obama's not a robot. He's an actual person. He's so, uh, he's an actual person like you and me. So give him a break, all right? And as far as Kanye West, don't give Kanye West a break. You know, if, if you see him around, slap around a couple of times, just snap out of it. That's all I got to say about that. So that's my little ramp uh, rape about that, about Kanye West and the whole the whole scenario that's been going on this week. Uh, I got more videos to come right here on YouTube.com slash TV and many more podcasts or video casts uh, to come from the Power Hour. So let you guys know what's going on with that, okay? So as usual, tune into my show, the Power Hour. Every Sunday afternoon from 4 30 p.m. to 5 30 p.m. on WNJC 1360 a.m. and WNJC 1360.com. I will be back on the video on my YouTube soon and give you guys my opinion, more, my opinion more and stuff and what's going on in the world today. Alright? This is Danny J. I'm signing off. Kind of what sucks. <laughs>